Jackie on the line, so we'll play Double Peace later. Hey, Kevin, how are you? Hi, Cindy. Great. Uh, it's always uh, fantastic talking to you. You too. You too. I was just talking a little bit about the project. Now, Kevin's in, where are you in the world right now, Kevin? Uh, I'm right outside of Philadelphia. Oh, you're back there, because you've been hopping around quite a bit, I know. I, I'd rather be in Maui, though. Well, you know, the the invitation is always open for you to come to Maui. You've got a place to stay anytime you come. And I love it. But you've gone and been involved. Tell me about the background. I know about Action Moves People, but this project, Action Moves People United, really took off um, with a wonderful array of people and also with the, um, the connection you found with UNESCO and the United Nations. Mm-hmm. How did that come about? Well, it all started with uh, Action News People when uh, the Secretary General of uh, the United States Federation of UNESCO Clubs heard about the CD. She fell in love with it and suggested we work together. And um, that's how it was born. And uh, I guess uh, three years later, maybe it was three years later, here we are. <laughs> what, what a, with a lot of work in between. <laughs> a lot of work. I mean, doing people can't even begin to imagine because you've reached out to so many people around the world. Um, and you and Rupam Sarma and Krista uh, really went all out on this. I mean, it, this, there's a lot of new music uh, put behind other pieces that Rupam did. And it really does reach around the world. Um, there's artists from all around the world. I, I, I know I saw this wonderful friend that we have. Uh, Marcel, is it from Turkey? Who has a from piece? From Turkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, he's all over the Turkish press, press out there. He's on the, their biggest uh, TV station promoting. Uh, it's wonderful. Yeah, and, and of course, um, Rupam uh, reached out to India and had um, symphonies, uh, symphonic pieces put together for this work. That is correct. And uh, g- give me some of the other people involved. Um, give me a list of some of the other people involved in this wonderful project. Well, that'll take a couple hours, but I'll, I'll give you the short list. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, well, we have the Dan Aykroyd. Everybody knows who Dan Aykroyd is. Um, it's some really, really um, wonderful work for us. Um, Julian Lennon. Julian Lennon is always working on environmental issues and world um piece um very uh, brilliant song of his uh, on the cd we have members of the band asia which would include john wenton and jeff downs and members of the band yes where jeff downs is also a member of and alan white uh janice ian kathy sledge annie Haslund from renaissance patrick Mares, uh who used to be in the uh, uh moody blues and uh, also yes um, we have a cosmonaut, which I uh, can never <laughs> remember his name. <laughs> uh, he's from uh, Romania. And um, uh, Tony Levin, uh, who's on a Piano uh, Joy uh, uh, track, which, uh, you know, those are just the, some of the uh, the well-known names. And we just have these wonderful, wonderful musicians from all over the country. Um, so, oh, Kathy Sledge. So, Kathy Sledge, and, too. Yeah, and Kathy Sledge, yeah. Yeah, brilliant song um, that she has on there also. And, and uh, um, tell me about, because I've seen a lot on Facebook about your trip. You've been to uh, UNESCO and the United Nations a few times. I have never been honored to actually get involved in. What's it like? I want to hear what it's like getting into the United Nations and going through all the security and what it's like to actually um, go through that huge uh, system. <coughs> wow. Well, the first meeting... Um, over, it's a little over a year now, uh, our first UN meeting, and uh, felt really kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to, there's checkpoints um, outside the UN. You, you meet with uh, people, um, you get signed in, and they escort you in. And uh, that first meeting we went to was the, um, uh, I forget what number it was, but it was a general assembly, and uh, Gandhi's grandson was there. And Rupam actually got to speak on the floor. Uh, about the upcoming project. We were a year uh, away yet from its release, but um, uh, we had him speak a little bit about it, and we met some very, very interesting people. So just being in that crowd and uh, and making a difference is just a, a really, really wonderful feeling. What's really crazy is um, I went to another uh, uh, very important meeting there, 
And it just so happens that there were world leaders there that day, including uh, Obama and, uh, so, and so forth. But anyway, so they had things uh, sectioned off blocks away from the U.N. So you had to meet your contacts um, at least one to two blocks away. And then they had to escort you uh, through, the, uh, the, through the streets to the U.N. So that they had this huge area uh, cordoned off where you couldn't get in. And, and then to get there and then have the whole street filled with media and so forth, it was, it was pretty exciting. Was, but, was it bigger the, than the Grammys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, all, it's a totally different feeling. Uh-huh. And, 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 you know, in, in, uh, you know, having won one already, it's, it's you know, experiencing all of these uh, UN events, it's, uh, it's really quite a thrill. Um, mm-hmm. I, I can't match it with it. It's just totally two different things. But I was also in, in the, uh, those weren't directly with UNESCO at the, uh, the UN meetings. They were just with uh, world peace leaders. And, um, but when I went to the State Department last December, that was directly with UNESCO, and not only with the Federation, but also with the United States uh, Commission of UNESCO. And um, so that was very, very interesting. And I got to, um, uh, you know, after we got a presentation of what was going on in the world in the last few months and decisions that were being made, and um, we got to be in little groups. And we actually suggested, like mine was media. I picked to go into the media. Like what could we do to be in the media to let the people know um, that UNESCO is here? And, uh, and that was really a lot, a lot of fun because, you know, just sitting in a, in a room like that and, and uh, being part of big decisions and, and ideas, uh, that's, uh, I can't explain it. It's just very, very exciting. Well, it, it, is, it is a thrill and a half to even begin to imagine um, being part of this project for me. I mean, I, it is, um, I remember when the beginning stages and you started talking about it, um, but to actually see it manifest and to see how how it's grown into this it's really fantastic um thing it's just it's really thrilling and i'm really impressed um with the work that's been put into it i don't think people can realize what it's like trying to do 45 tracks i mean um this is years of work and also years of going back and forth reaching um, all these different people, because um, it's one thing when you're doing your own work and you're just doing your own paperwork, but you have to deal with um, people from all around the world, different time zones, different people, different managers, different agents, um, and it's beautiful. I mean, truly beautiful. How it did manifest, I do want to. I do guess that it's also really nice that I think I want to give at least a shout out to our Grammy friends um, who we've gotten to know and love, um, who are just fabulous that we've got to work with. Um, some of them are very famous. Some are. Uh, independence and and people may not know them real well. Um, some are new age artists. Um, some are into other things and jazz. Um, but they um, have really most of them come together um, through some of these Facebook groups. And um, I know the ballots just got mailed out, and so all of them are very busy. But they're very generous and supportive, aren't they? Oh my God! It's just it's just it's so many to mention. Um, <clears throat> just you know work you know. With our recording academy uh, uh, friends, there's so many, 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 many talented people there. You know, it goes from you know Grant Malloy Smith to Eileen Sherman, um, to Lisa Schneiderman, to yourself, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, to, to, to Trevor, he's uh, you know over in Ireland, I, I believe uh, it is. He oh, is. I didn't know that. Yeah, Trevor. Yeah, I think he's in Ireland. Oh. Uh, Trevor, you can call in and tell us if we're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Ireland, really. I'm pretty sure it's Ireland. <laughs> oh, I would have loved to have seen him. I was just there. <laughs> uh, Kenya, oh, yeah, Kenya. Just, we didn't we have to Kenya. mention Kenya and Oscar. Kenya Audi. and Oscar. Yeah. Kenya and Oscar. Yeah. You know, Oscar. Uh, you know, they both have a uh, wonderful studio out in the uh, out in the West Coast, and um, uh, Tim Farrell, who's an amazing uh, finger style guitar player. Um, He's pretty low key. A lot of people. Uh, he's not always out there on uh, on the media. I was a really, really phenomenal musician, and Tim Gleason too, another phenomenal um, musician. Um, I noticed Laura Sullivan's on a, a piece with her piano work. Gotta love Laura, and then of course she's matched up with Bobby Susser. Uh, Bobby, you know, even though he's, he may not be a household name, but he has sold over five million albums. Wow! With the really over five million. Oh, like, yes. Like I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And, uh, you know, 
Um, I guess in the last year or so, a couple of years, you probably don't see him around the media groups as much, but uh, some of the people that have been around um, for several years know, you know, know Bobby as like uh, the dad. Like every, you know, uh, Bobby's just a great person to talk to, give advice. He's there for everybody, and uh, just a really, really great guy. Oh, and I got to do a piece. My my piece I wrote, gosh, I think about two years ago for you, Dove of Peace, um, and that was paired up with a woman I've never met. It's interesting how you do things across the world, Shakila, and um, she's from where? Uh, she's originally from Iran. Wow. So she, we, we actually, some of you, as you. Uh, you know already some of your words are speaking with the Iranian language so it's forgive me I don't remember what it's named uh, but it's a language they use in Iran and um, so we thought that was very very interesting and then yeah. of course we have some instruments uh, from that area too underneath your poem so it really has that that flavor well you know what is really I mean you've been doing this for what you've been doing in coordinating projects you did a children's one but a lot of spoken words and it's been what 12 years now at least Oh, more than that. I, I've been uh, seriously in music since uh, the mid-90s. And uh, it, besides my own music that I was uh, putting out back then, uh, my first uh, my first album with a cause was for the environment back in 1998. Mm. And then uh, I just I found a love just for, for doing good for the planet and helping people. And uh, I just never looked back. And then through the years, I, I picked certain subjects that were close to me. And, uh, and this is where it's led me. Well, it's really a culmination, I think, of all this hard work you put in. I do want to give a shout-out to the fact that people donated their time. I mean, all these people donated their time for this important cause. And when you listen to this whole CD, and I've listened, Kevin, I've mm-hmm. listened to the whole thing many times, forty wow. all 45 tracks. I mean, you you really get, um, it's really like, you know, you go into a room and a blind man goes into a room and feels one part of an elephant and thinks it's one way, and then someone feels another part of the elephant and describes, well, you put the whole thing together and you have the elephant. But in this case, you know, everyone has their own take on yep. peace and the environment and, and different ways of expressing it, um, but all coming together on this CD for this Really, um, it's really a powerful work, Kevin. And that's why it took um, uh, probably the, probably a year, I'm, I'm going to guess. I, I didn't time anything. But a year just going through writings and finding the right ones um, that would be uh, on the project. Uh, there's so many, many, many good ones. But just finding the right ones that, for that flow and then finding the uh, the readers that would just bring them to life. And uh, so just that alone takes time. And then when you start adding all the instrumentation, it's, you know, the, the Dan Aykroyd track, uh, Enlighten Your Soul, which Alan White is also on. Uh, anything, anybody who knows anything about music and recording, there's well over 300 tracks uh, on that particular piece. It could even 300 be 400. Uh, tracks? My last count was was over 300. Oh, my we gosh. Putting it together. And uh, so Rupon would have that final number uh, that's on there. But just that one um, uh, spoken word slash song. Because um, I look, you know, even though it's spoken word, the, the music underneath is just very, very intense and, and, and um, uh, very deep and... Um, very complex at times. Well, and people and, should uh, be aware that even so though it, there's it, a category yeah, spoken... like that, just one track. Can you imagine them, 45 tracks. <laughs> well, you have choirs <laughs> and, and everything uh, behind it, but in a spoken word release, you do have music, so you do have, like, Julian Lennon's is actually a song, which is excellent as well, and there are songs yeah. on here as well. I really love Julian's Lennon. I mean, that is, that's, that's wonderful. In fact, I, I'm going to try to get that played on our reggae station because it's a reggae version and and you yeah. know he sounds yeah. just like his dad he sounds just like john lennon i mean i've heard john lennon and met him and everything and i listened to that and i think that sounds just like john I, it's amazing uh, you met john lennon? oh right yeah <laughs> oh yeah no i know that was a long because that was a long time ago kevin long wow. time ago but yeah um but but that is really amazing so you have everything and issues about the environment, one really touching piece, or someone pretends they're a dolphin at the Cove uh, when the dolphins were being slaughtered. And, I mean, um, 
it is an impactful work that makes a deep, deep impression. Now, for people to find out more about this, um, I know you have the website, actionmovespeopleunited.org. Is that the best place for people to go? Yeah, I would send people there. I mean, they can look us up on iTunes or Amazon, uh, but you could just go there and you could be directed uh, uh, from there. And you, you'll also have all the information about the CD, everybody who's on it, um, about the United States Federation of UNESCO clubs. So everything is there. So it's probably the best place uh, to start. Is there, I mean, there's a lot of details to take care of this. And I know Krista Walhagen's very, very good at, at, um, at details. And um, she put the uh, the work together with the graphics and did a, a lovely logo for it and everything as well. But to just try to even get through the permissions um, is huge. And then when you're dealing with the United Nations and UNESCO as well, um, there's all kinds of other layers to deal with. Have you actually been able to go back to UNESCO and present it to them yet? Um, have you, have, or have you just sent it to them? Or when's that going to happen? Well, the Federation, um, uh, they, they have the CD. And what we're doing is uh, UNESCO is very complex. And so, you know, besides the Federation, the United States Federation of UNESCO clubs, there's, there's the United States Commission of UNESCO, there's the World Federation of UNESCO. Um, it's like a spider. Mm-hmm. And, um, and what we're doing uh, through the Federation is reaching out uh, to all these clubs and associations and commissions. And um, so that's taking, uh, you know, that's, that takes a little bit of time. Uh, but that's been going on now for uh Sorry for several weeks, mm-hmm. and uh, so uh, you know. So we we have there's some things that uh, that came up and talked about some possibilities that may happen. There's something I, I don't want to say it, uh, right now, um, but there's something that could happen by the uh, by the end of the year that we could be invited to. If, if this happens, we most likely we will be invited to. But I don't want to say what it is because if it doesn't happen, then but it would be really. Uh, Really, very something very special for us if it does happen That's at the UN. So, so, so exciting, and um, it was amazing because I know how hard it is as an independent. You and many of our friends are also having second and third jobs, um, and you also have um, a, a full time job, and uh, you know, so you're doing your full time job, um, you know, while while donating all your time and energy to this as well. So, uh, we want to give kudos to them. Uh, because yes. I know they're a sponsor too. It's Brown Shoprite, right? Correct. Uh, that is correct. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Which is wonderful. Yeah, and we had so many. Yeah, you know, um, Brown Shoprite. They're always very, very um, helpful um, to all my projects, which is great because you know they um, they too care about um, <clears throat> these issues, and uh, you know all these studios that have given their time. Um, it's just amazing. Um, and there's other, you know, some other uh, sponsors that have given us money. And uh, it's just so, so nice. And, and um, it just enables us to um, to help people. And, and through um, through our contacts already, I mean, we already have money, uh, you know, being funnel- funneled into the Federation that will go um, to events that they do, um, such as they, they, they do this, uh, I forget what it's called, but they have all these kids from around the world uh, come to uh, the D.C. area, and uh, they learn about each other. I, I witnessed this uh, last year. This year I couldn't sit in for it, but last year I sat in for it. And they got to, they get to know each other's cultures because each culture is so different in how something could be complimenting and something could be insulting. And so they learn from each other, and they go through all these classes, and they, have, they, they play sports together. And then the Federation takes them up to the U.N. where they, where they learn. So this, this takes a lot of money, flying uh, people in from all around the world, uh, these kids, uh, to do this. So this is just one way, by these kids learning about each other, you know, maybe when they grow up and become businessmen and, and uh, political leaders, that they have a better understanding for each other. And mm-hmm. that's just one, just one way uh, that maybe we can achieve world peace uh, years from now. And that's just one of the programs. There's so many programs that, that you know, helping the hungry and, and, and uh, people in, in uh, natural disasters. But that's just one of the programs um, that they do. Well, I want to congratulate you. I know it came in number 10 on Billboard starting out, which is huge for a spoken word project. I mean, it very, yeah, very actually, rarely yeah, ever happens. Eight. Is it yeah, eight? Number eight. It's actually in a, uh, in a compilation um, category. Wonderful. Yeah. I guess it was, well, you know, because of... Uh, 
you know, the first few weeks going in, we had a massive, a massive amount of um, outpour out there. And uh, thanks to people like, like uh, Ruth Weber, she she had, she uh, hosted a great release party in in San Diego, and hundreds uh, were sold there. Uh, just amazing. Rupam was like he said he couldn't believe it. There's, there's actually a picture of Rupam and uh, Art. Uh, you know, Art. You know, Art. Mm-hmm. Art is actually uh, he actually did the, the, some of the music on your track. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, they, yeah, they're at a table signing autographs, and you see a picture of the long line of people <laughs> like they're rock stars. And uh, wow. <laughs> so, well, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna play a little of the Dan Aykroyd piece right now. Uh, enlighten your soul, but I want to thank you so much. I know how busy you are and what busy time it is, but everyone check it out. Action Moves People United. It's available on iTunes, it's on Amazon, and it's fantastic, and uh, it's all for a really great cause. So thank you so much for calling in, Kevin. A big aloha. Uh, Aloha. (laughs) Bye-bye. People cry out for the good of man, while terror rings throughout the land. Making bombs and threats for fun, kill them all who do not succumb. Well, here we have those who have cried, shed many tears, who walked with pride to help one another before their time is seized. Let us join them all in the chant for peace. Nelson Mandela imprisoned for fighting apartheid to ending war. Aung San Suu Kyi was under house arrest for opposition in her noble quest. Mahatma Gandhi took the road for his goal to seek independence through his non-violent soul. Williams for Community of Peace, promoting resolution for Northern Ireland to cease. Buddha, enlightened, attained nirvana, forsook comforts deemed for a prince-born Gautama. Young Malala won her battle to survive. For one obtaining education, you will never connive. Dalai Lama, let us not ever forget, promoting compassion for us all in Tibet.
search deep in your heart, lead and be bold. Take the path of resistance and enlighten your soul. Well, that's uh, Dan Aykroyd on uh, Action Moves People United. Uh, enlighten your soul with a cast of a uh, huge, huge, I don't know, like how many people. He said like 300 tracks and people from all over the world on that. Uh, again, I'm honored to be on this uh, CD with Dove of Peace, a piece I wrote. Um, and it's available on YouTube. Let's see, I- iTunes also you can see a YouTube uh, video on this. You can go to uh, any of the tracks. Amazon has it, and it's all really for UNESCO. It's an absolutely wonderful project. Um, highly recommend checking it out. I'm tempted to play. I know I've got someone calling in soon. I've got Warren, um, who's Anna Hayes' manager, calling in any second. So I don't know if I have time to do the song I did, but I'm going to try to cue that up. Mine's called Dove of Peace, and it's from a wonderful lady named Shakila. And Shakila's uh, an Iranian artist, and I've never met her. I have no idea. You know, I mean, I see her on Facebook, but it's amazing now how you can connect and do a, a piece of work together, never having met a person or done anything like that. But it's like, this is this is something that's a world thing. I, if you've listened to the show a lot, I like to really have people from all over the world um, talking about their travels and adventures because I do believe when we travel, um, we really break down the barriers from misunderstanding and we learn about other cultures. And it truly does change our whole impression of the world when we meet people face to face. So I'm going to play The Dove of Peace. This is the one I wrote and uh, Shakila is also on this track. Action moves people united. Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, Gandhi, and it all starts with a genuine message. Wanting to make a change, there's always an underlying message in good music. Been around for a while. Okay, that's not the track. <laughs> Sorry about that. Make me smile. Simple that way. Like waking up to the morning sun. Settle down when the moonlight comes Taking the day Time will get you when you realize If you don't go and take it a fly 